song with Beyond the sea She's there watching for me Hey peeps, today I'm going to be doing a first impression and a full on product review of this It's a fish filter by the brand Krill It's the name of the filter is ASAP Filter 700. Apparently it's the big boy, if you know what I mean. It's the largest one of this sort of model you can get because uh, apparently there is a 300, a 500 and a 700 and this is the 700, yeah, the 700 model. I don't know why it's called the 700 model but it's apparently it's the 700 model. So um, the reason I'm doing this video is because me and Kimber was looking for a new filter, uh, we was looking on eBay and we, we came across this and we googled it to see what, oh, I wonder what other people made of it. But we found some videos but none of the ones we found were in English so that's why I'm doing this to help out anybody in England or speaks English to see if it's any good. So uh, I'm going to get unboxing it in a moment to see what the build quality is like. But anyway, before I do that, I'm gonna give out a little bit of information on the packaging because there is loads and loads of information. So let's just go down here. So apparently this model, the 700, it's 6.8 watts, ideal for aquariums from 100 to 250 litres and, and apparently it's 650 litres an hour. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to get open this now and have a look. Got my scissors. <laughs> that went a bit easy. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh. It's all crammed in there, so let's uh, take it. Yeah, come on then, come on, don't want to break out. Okay, a wee little bag, put that down there for later. Okay, pull that out. Wow, that's big. And that's that empty, some instructions. Oh wow, at least you get pictures with this one. I do love pictures, but obviously I don't look at instructions. So. Let's have a look. This is actually rather nice for saying it's a fish filter. All your media goes in there. At the moment it's fine, but I don't suppose I don't I suppose you can put anything in there really. You know, you don't always have to use the phone, but I don't see why you could you can't just put anything you like really. So I'm gonna take this apart anyway and see how well it is constructed. Okay, so going from other videos, you just twist it. Your big plastic bottle feels nice. You've got a little end cap thing there, looks really nice that does. Okay, so you pull out the bottle cap. I'm going to call this bit the bottle cap. Okay, pull it out. Simple, bit tight, but simple. Put that down there for the moment. Here's your foam. Wow, that's actually one big piece of foam. Pretty cool. Okay, so how easy is it to slide it back in? Okay. Okay, yay! Okay, arrange it. That was quite easy to slide back in. Feels nice. Yeah, I don't suppose you could like just put whatever you want in there, so seems nice and you could do that. Anyway, let's have a look at this. Little cap thing. Feels nice. Okay, I think you prod that forward. Mm -hmm. Squeeze the nozzle down the back, prod that forward, and push it in, like so. And I think that's just literally ready to go. Simple. Even I could clean that out, but I'm not going to tell Kim that. Okay, so. The motor housing part, let's have a look at that. So somehow, uh, this comes a part, do I? Just pull it, right. okay, put that down. Have a look at that in a mic. Let's have a look at the motor. So that 
it's quite chunky, very big. Okay, so just pull them on. Yep, that came off quite easily. And pull the propeller out. Oh, did he? So obviously that must go in, spin, and water out that way. Okay, let's put that back on. That feels quite nice. Feels definitely feels strong around the base bit, definitely. So I'm just going to have a look to see how big this wire is. Okay, keep going, keep going. Easily a meters, I'm going to say. So let's have a look at the housing. Loads and loads of little grilly parts, so it sucks in as much as the fish can produce. That must be where your suckers go. So fitting that in, it must just drop, probably. Okay, I've dropped it, do I? Yep, let's push it. Well, simple. Okay, so these must be your suckers in this wee little baggie. Yay, they are. Okay, so... Nice big holes, I'm going to see how easy it is to get these in because I know with some of the filters Kim's had in the past it's been a nightmare to get these in. Literally, oh wow, that was pushing two. Okay, see if I can do one for the camera. Push in and turn. Hey, this is super simple. Okay, so I'm just going to get the rest of these in for her. Push in and turn, push in and turn, simple. Okay, so putting this on, going by all the videos that I've seen, it faces backwards, then turns. Well, that's it then. It's ready to go, <laughs> literally. That is simple as I. I still swear you could probably use your own media in that because I don't see any mechanical parts getting in the way of it. So literally you could have your little white silicon things, silicon, not silicon, ceramic, that's it, little white ceramic things there with a little bit of foam on top or vice versa and you're ready to go, literally. That is simple. Hey, so uh, in a moment I'm going to go and help Kim clean the fish tank out downstairs and give this a whirl I think. We're just about to refill the tank after doing a water change, but I've asked him to leave it at this level at the moment because on the packaging it says the minimum amount of water you can have this pump in is about five centimetres. Well, I say there's about 10 centimetres without measuring. So in a moment, I'm going to drop it in and see what it can do at this height of water. Just want to let people know that the heater here is actually unplugged, so no risk of damaging it or hurting the fish. So I'm going to drop the heat, drop the pump in. Okay, let's go for it then. Okay, so the business end is underwater. There we are. Nice and stuck on. Now I use my dry hand to plug it all in. Okay, it's sucking up and it's spitting it out like anything. Okay, let's pull that now and it stops. And the water level drops inside of it. Oh, cool. Anyway, let's fill it up to top capacity now. We've just filled the fish tank back up to the level we like. The pump's all nice and in its place with the head just slightly above the water. So uh, we're going to plug it in in a moment and then the heater and then hopefully put all the decorations back in. But for now, I'm going to plug it in and hopefully see it all sucky, sucky, blowy, blowy. Okay, so here we go. Quack. 
quite a nice jet of water coming out of there and as you can see it is moving the water quite a bit yeah I think Kim be happy with that anyway I'm gonna have to say goodbye now because uh, there's still quite a bit of work left to do with the decorations and all that lot so if you I hope you do like this video of the Acryl ASAP 700 that took a bit of practice so if you'd like to hit like, comment or subscribe, please do so and thank you ever so much for watching this.